The number one is Bosch Place 2632K. The Bosch PL2632K is equipped with lock-on and lock-off capabilities, for convenience and safety. Its spring-loaded stand protects its blade when it's not in use, and it comes with a dust bag to gather all the shavings it generates. This product is available on Amazon for $149. The average rating of this product is 4.5 stars with more than 294 customer reviews, a customer said. I received this tool yesterday afternoon and had my first door done to my satisfaction within the hour. The 3 degree shoe attachment makes getting the correct relief angle on the door edge much easier, and once the planing work is done, a groove in the middle of the sole plate facilitates cutting a nice bevel on the planed edges. Note that it does take a bit of finesse to get it right. The start and end of each cut are a bit hairy, as only one end of the sole plate is supporting the tool. I found it best to take very light passes, with the tool set at its lowest adjustment. In a few minutes I had the door edge the way I wanted it. The case doesn't hold the assembled tool, and this will be a hindrance for a contractor. For a homeowner, it's not a big deal to have to reassemble the guide assembly and dust catcher each time you use it, but contractors should be aware of this annoyance. The price is good for what this tool is, and I justified buying it by considering how much it would cost to have a guy come in and do this on. Another happy customer said. This kit comes with a fence that attaches to the plane in two places and has the necessary 3 degree fence for doors in addition to 0 degree for everything else. The only bad thing is the Bosch typical badly designed case. This is my second Bosch kit and the cases in both are um meh. With this Bosch kit, you must remove the brackets from the fence to get everything in the case. This also implies having to take the time to reassemble the fiddly nature of the bracket fence in order to use it, includes not losing its two one quarter inch washers. To add insult to injury, there is no designed place in the case for the brackets. They just rattle around and fly wherever. This fence case design is a pain in the butt. I expected better from Bosch. All that said, running this tool down a swollen door using its solid fence attached at front and rear of the plane made for a quality job even for someone without experience with a powered planer, me. After using it on two doors, while they were hung, I would never get one of those designed that doesn't have two attach points. An unhappy customer said. Model PL2632K, quality issues, point one. Rear platen had area of non-cleanup from final machining, about one square inch just behind blades. 2. Scratching in base platen after four passes on one inch wide cherry. Maybe an anodized hard coat is in order. Not sure it will hold up for commercial use. 3. Non-drive side exhaust port will not support the chip collector, it blows off. This is the plastic port. The aluminum port on the drive side works well. In effect this does not have two working ports. Design issue with carry case, the guide will not fit into the case unless it is disassembled. Not very convenient or user friendly. If it wasn't for the above issues I would rate it 5 stars. The next product on our list is. Makita KP0810. The Makita KP0810 is capable of shaving a 3 114 inch strip of the densest wood without bogging down, so you know you'll always get a clean cut. The large, control knob on the front features stops in 0.1 mm increments, for precise depth adjustments. The price is around $200, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.4 stars from 120 customer reviews, a customer said. Cool tool, planing through wood beautifully. The knives last very good, still razor sharp after a lot of use comparing to my other brand planer. 
The trigger is well designed, the spring-loaded tool rest designing to protect the workpiece is handy if you don't have the time to wait for the tool to completely stop. The tool is well balanced, does not feel heavy and noise is not bad. Another happy customer said, Love the planer. Wish it had an adjustable angle for the guide so I didn't have to make a 3 degree bevel guide from wood but no big deal. Probably better to make my own anyhow. A great tool and very accurate and reliable. An unhappy customer said, Cutting blade shattered on a knot in mesquite, not just chipped, shattered. And changing blades is an awesome adventure in frustration. Whatever genius designed this decided that stability ISNT needed when working on it. Damn thing has to he cradled while you work on it so be prepared to build a stand for it or ask a friend. But the blade shattering from a knot is unacceptable. We'll be reaching out about that. The next one is DeWalt DW680K7 Amp. The DeWalt DW680K7 Amp is a good choice for professional woodworkers who require precision and performance. It's efficient, well engineered, and its high speed steel blades are great for straight edging and framing applications. This product is available on Amazon for $173, check out the link in the YouTube description below. There are 140 reviews which average rating is 4.5 stars for this product, a customer said. With all the rains in California this year, I had a number of doors that were sticking. The sticking was limited to relatively small areas. I have other power tools but never had, used an electric planer. I figured I'd give it a try. It worked perfectly. I was able to shave a few thousands of an inch off various areas and had three sticking doors moving freely in less than 15 minutes. The depth of the cut is easily controlled using the big front knob. I only needed minor shaving in certain areas but the tool gave me enough control to do just what I needed and nothing more. I was under the impression that one might have to start from one end of the wood piece and move inward. But as long as you have the blades turning at full speed, you can carefully begin a cut in the middle of the piece, by slowly lowering the tool so it is flat on the surface and then moving forward. Other have noted that the shavings fly out of the exhaust port and that is true. We had some minor sweeping up to do after the shaving, but we were so. Another happy customer said, Read the reviews, most are extremely positive. Planer arrived yesterday. Nothing like prime two-day free shipping and it arrives overnight, a day early. I'm building a farm table out of reclaimed lumber. I used six clamps after running the edges through my Powermatic jointer. Had perfectly smooth level edges to glue. The ends were matched up perfectly, but the middle of the slab top sagged during the hot humid gluing time, and I had 8 inches wide boards as much as 1 8 off, leaving a very irregular top. I started using my DeWalt belt sander with 50 grit, but it was going to take a long time. I couldn't believe how perfect this DW680K was for the job. I had read on several woodworking sites that the only solution is to find a local shop with a wide sanding machine to run the 40 inches by 84 inches table top through. This planer works like shaving whiskers in the morning. I set it for 1 32nd and made smooth passes laterally across the table top. I had no idea there was such a tool that would do exactly the job needed to be done. Finishing up with the belt sander 80, then 120. An unhappy customer said. The planer works great, but not only does it not come with a dust bag, none is available. 
I just got off the phone with DeWalt, who assure me that no bag or adapter is available for purchase that fits the teardrop-shaped dust port on the side of this planer. DeWalt recommended that I return the planer and purchase a 5.5 amp model that can fit to a dust collection bag. The next one is Porter Cable 6 Amp PC 60 THP. Great for home DIY ERs and contractors alike, the Porter Cable 6 Amp PC 60 THP is one of the most cost effective and versatile options out there. It has a large, overmolded control knob, so you can adjust the cutting depth without having to take off your construction gloves. The price is around $68, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 432 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.6 stars, a customer said. Compared to a Festool planer, which gets a higher mark for its calibrated cutting metric or imperial, this is basic but good at a fraction of the cost. It requires some skill to not run of the edge and dig. Side-to-side -side overlap planing is possible if you shim a side of it with blue tape. Power is adequate for fresh cut oak rough planks. I use it outside as there is a huge outflow of chips. The flat to direct them left or right can be confused. Still, what a bargain compared to anding. If you only used a crude hand plane you can use this. If you are used to fine planes, Japanese planes, you know those are high skill tools. This is for wearing fast. Only cuts flat surfaces. I haven't found any blades for making textured flooring or paneling. This doesn't bog down at all. Another happy customer said. I'm a garage woodworker, not a pro by any stretch of the imagination so keep that in mind for this review. I've only used this a handful of times and have been pleased. If you've not used a planer before I would strongly encourage you to find a variety of scrap wood and practice. If you're like me and not using it often, I'd suggest you practice before each use. For me, this has worked great and I've only mangled one piece but that was user error not the tool. I'm knocking off a star only because the instruction manual leaves something to be desired, poorly printed and difficult to read because of that. Font is very small. Otherwise the tool has performed well and works great for my needs. I wouldn't hesitate to purchase again. The next product in our list is Kauriman Router. To complete the very finest of projects, look no further than the Kauriman Router. This handheld tool makes the most intricate jobs easy, with an adjustable screw for setting the exact level of bite needed to ensure an appropriately flush surface. This product is available on Amazon for $50. This product has average 4.5 stars from more than 148 customer reviews, a customer said. Originally I was a bit dismayed when I opened the package and saw the size I have big hands, make a fist and that's about it. But that's on my for not double checking the conversion. However, this little thing works great. The blade was sharp right out of the box, didn't need to tune it, smooth out and level the bottom plate. Works excellent. I don't have dado blades on my table saw, nor do I own a band saw, so most times I make multiple pass on the table saw to remove waste wood when making lap joints and dovetails. Which works but it's not completely smooth, so that leaves chiseling and or sanding to smooth out the grooves. Asterisk note I do own a large router but I keep it firmly attached to its routing table and I hate taking it out to use it for a few minutes and then have to put it back in asterisk this manual plane does the job quite nicely. Really happy with this purchase. Great work guys. Another happy customer said. I would give this product a million stars, but I can't. 
My only honest complaint is that the screws holding the handles in place were loose when they came in, but that is hardly a shot against the plane maker. This this is great and the blade blew my mind when I finally wanted to sharpen it. Mind you, I said wanted to sharpen it, as it doesn't dull easily, so I decided to hone it a bit and it was wild when I took it apart. Finally a plane maker in this generation that isn't garbage. 10 out of 10 will buy again, if this ISNT an heirloom quality item, I don't know what is. An unhappy customer said. The cutting edge isn't parallel with the base bad grind. The number 6. Wood River 5 volts 3. It'll cost you more than many, but if you're looking for a top-of-the-line tool that will last for years, consider the Wood River No. 5 V3. It's fashioned after the old-school models in Stanley's Bedrock line, which were some of the most trusted in their day. This product is available on Amazon for $220, check out the link in the YouTube description below. There are 78 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.6 stars, a customer said. I purchased both Stanley 12 to 137 number 62 low angle jack plane and this plane and although they are set up differently they can be used to perform similar functions blade the Stanley plane had a much thicker blade and in my opinion it was by far more superior in contrast the Wood River blade chipped on first use I was shocked and disappointed but how good is a factory honing going to be not very. I spent roughly 30 minutes grinding and honing the blade to remove the chip. I then proceeded to test the plane again. That is when the magic happened. Just kidding, it's just a plane. I was very happy with the results though. It is well balanced, and feels more stable than the Stanley No. 62. Adjustments, this is where Wood River's plane really had the edge. The Stanley adjustment is so cumbersome. I also own a Stanley low angle block plane that uses the same mechanism, but on the number 62 it was almost impossible to get the dam then to cut a clean consistent level. Finished, the Wood River plane just looks like a million bucks. It's an attractive plane that leaves a silky finish, granted that has to do a lot with the blade honing, but... Another happy customer said. This is just a beautiful hand plane. Very well made and nicely crafted. The plane works okay out of the box, but I spent about 20 minutes of tuning and my goodness is this a thing a performer. I love it and about to order the number 4 smoothing plane and number 6 plane. Out of the box there are two things you will notice. The plane is very well made and it caked in rust proofing lubricant. Some people do not like it, but I do. Just means the manufacturer went to that one extra step to get me a nice product. You do want to wipe all of the oil off it though with a clean rag. Take the lever cap off. Remove the the cap iron, chip breaker and blade and wipe down the whole plane including the frog getting rid of all of that oil. Take the cap iron off the blade and give those a thorough wiping too. Before putting it back together. Break out a flat head screwdriver and check that the frog adjustment, tote, front knob screws are tight. No need to over tighten them. Just make sure they are tight. Run a finger across the. The next one is. Stanley 12139 Bailey. The Stanley 12 to 139 Bailey has an adjustable mouth, a thick, A2 tool steel blade, and a one-piece, precision ground, frog and base casting, which helps minimize chatter on unruly workpieces. It is backed by a limited lifetime warranty. The price is around $75, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 237 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.1 stars, a customer said. I just got it so did not really use it on projects. It came packaged nicely in its box. It was wrapped in oily paper and then in plastic. 
The plane was oiled for shipping with a light oil, not the heavy greasy stuff you run into. I took it apart and gave it a bath in paint thinner and reassembled. Fit and finish is pretty good. It is not fully fettled like a high dollar unit. I broke some of the parts edges with some 1000 paper just so the corners felt a bit better to the fingers. Everything fit together very well. The sole was flat. Not surface table flat but real world flat. I started a bit of the sandpaper on glass deal but it was flat enough that it was not needed. The iron came quite sharp and the back was acceptably flat. It is just shy o 1 8 inch thick. As it came it would somewhat push cut a piece of copy paper. I then ran it a few times on the leather strop to polish up a bit. After that the push cut test was about as good as working plain edges get. Folks will always push. Another happy customer said, Great plane and comes in real nice condition. Much better than their other standard planes which need a lot of work in order to get them flat on the sole. However, I don't like the lateral adjustment mechanism to adjust the tilt of the blade to the left or right. The old style is much easier to adjust because there is tension on the adjustment lever so you can just tap it a bit to adjust the department on the left or right side of the blade. On this one, you have to loosen the knob on the back and it's too easy to over adjust. Also blade on the Sweatheart plane is much thicker and cuts much nicer than the regular Stanley planes. Able to get nice thin shavings with this plane. Also they use better A2 steel on the blade which keeps sharper longer than the carbon steel blade. An unhappy customer said, I bought this plane a little over a year ago, despite having read some bad reviews about the sole not being flat or the iron bedding being crooked. I did not have any of those problems. The sole was fairly flat and the iron was sharp. I lapped the sole on 400 3000 grit sandpaper mirror finish and honed the blade. It worked very well and felt heavy and sturdy in my hand. I did not have any problem with the aluminum lever cap other reviewers mention. Mine worked well. For the past year I've used the plane to trim end grain in softwoods and light planing with the grain. I've cared well for it and it performed well. I would give it 4 stars, but the last time I used it, the lever cap came loose, the screw that holds it in place had broken. It seems like it is copper. A tool like this should last a couple of lifetimes. Such a failure after a little over a year of use with no abuse is unacceptable. I've written to Stanley Quality Assurance and will file a warranty claim there's a huge lifetime warranty on the box. I will edit this review when I Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.